I'm sorry to break this to you, but not all flowers look like the textbook examples we are shown and taught about in school. Flower parts are highly variable. So applying this diagram to a flower like this, for example, will not really work. However, knowing what parts to look for and where to look for them will help you tremendously in understanding morphology of whatever flower you might be looking at. So let's start. We look at a flower in whorls, which is the way the individual parts are arranged. The first layer, or the outermost whorl, is referred to as the calyx. The calyx consists of individual units called sepals. They can be free or sometimes fused together. Sepals serve as protection for a developing flower from potentially harsh environmental influences, as well as helping to deter insects from feeding on the bud and keeping the humidity inside the bud high. You can clearly see sepals when the flower is still in bud. At that time, the sepals enclose the whole bud, and as the reproductive structures inside mature and the flower starts to open up, the sepals open up as well, creating a sort of ball or cup underneath the blossom. They are often green, leaf-like structures, but might take on many different forms, and in some cases they might be missing completely. Or like in the case of this caledonium, they might fall off once the flower fully opens. Let me know how it goes if you try to locate sepals on a flower. 